Minecraft was released over 15 years ago now, and it is a completely different game than whenever it was first released. It's gone from being a cube of cobblestone and grass blocks to a highly immersive world with three different dimensions and two bosses. Allow me to explain how we got here. Minecraft was created by some Swedish dude named Marcus Pearson, also known as Notch, who before working on Minecraft full time worked as a video game developer for the company's King and J album. I mean, like, he, he didn't work for them both at the same time he quit one job and moved to the other. Or maybe he got fired from his first job, that would have been funny. Imagine you're a video game developing company and you fire some random dude and then a couple years later he's made literally the most popular game ever. Anyways, on May 10th of 2009, he made the very first version of Minecraft and it was literally just an extremely laggy cube of grass and cobblestone. My favorite part of it is that you could walk off the edge of the world and die. The game was released to the public just a week after it was first created in an update that we now call the classic version. In the classic classic version we ended up getting several new blocks, and we were also forced to be in creative mode 24-7 for some reason. And because of that, we had infinite resources available to us, but we couldn't fly for some reason. Also in a small, insignificant update called InfDev that released 8 months later, crafting was implemented. The game is called Minecraft, and it took them 8 months to add crafting. Also pigs were added, and apparently creepers, skeletons, and zombies were added as well, but they literally will not spawn. Also there's ocean so we can drown now. Also, armor and tools existed now too, because now, all of a sudden, we were stuck in survival mode. Around now was when the game started to first get popular. Then, about a year after Classic was first put out to the public, the first official major update, Alpha, was released. We now had the Nether, so we could die in a massive fiery pit of lava, and we also got a few biomes like deserts and frozen plains. Also, cows and chickens exist now. And like Classic, Minecraft Alpha got updated over the next few months. Then, in December of 2010, the second official major update, Minecraft Beta, was released. And just like Classic and Alpha, it did get multiple updates in the following months, but the added features were more evenly spread across all the different updates, rather than having most of them in the very first one. We ended up getting several new blocks, as well as weather and better terrain generation. Oh, and also wolves, so now we can get eaten alive by ravenous wild animals. One of Beta's updates, being 1.7.3, is actually still pretty popular to this day, and has a pretty active player base. All of these updates have been good, but they're nothing compared to what comes next. On the 18th of November of 20. 2011, the first full version of Minecraft, being 1.0, was released. It added enchantments, the end, hardcore mode, brewing, and breeding, which is great because now we're able to get fully enchanted diamond armor and tools, kill the ender dragon, and then fall off some random cliff and lose our world forever. Also, mushroom islands, nether fortresses, and strongholds are our thing. The next few updates added some really game-changing biomes and structures, such as beaches, jungles, mine shafts, and desert wells. Okay. However, 1.4.2 was the next update that had a really big impact. It was called the Pretty Scary Update because it was released one week before Halloween. Creative. Witches, bats, zombie villagers, and wither skeletons exist now. Also, the wither was added, so now we can watch a flying monster destroy all of our hard work while being completely helpless to do anything about it. Witch huts also spawned in swamps now, and overall the community just really liked this update. A few more updates happened, and now we can use redstone to build machines. We can also ride horses now, which is great, so now when we fall off of a cliff in our hardcore world, we can take someone else down with us. 1.7.2 was the next update that really changed the world. Get it? Because it's named the update that changed the, the world. <sighs> Never mind. We now had acacia trees, dark oak trees, colored glass, savanna biomes, mesas, roof forest, and a bunch of other biomes. And some PvP servers actually still use this update due to some of the combat mechanics, and it has a pretty notable presence on YouTube. The community really liked this update because of all the biomes that were added. It made Minecraft feel more like... Li <sighs> like Minecraft. Fast forward three years, and we now have ocean monuments, spectator mode, end cities, elytra, the mending enchantment, polar bears, woodland mansions, and shulker boxes. Oh, also combat is completely different. These things were all added over the span of four updates, mind you. Mojang was taking their sweet time. Also, during the three years that these updates were added, Minecraft was actively dying, and Mojang just couldn't be asked to actually update their game. 1.12 and 1.13 happened, and they were a lot better than the four updates before them. We now had shipwrecks, buried treasure, colored concrete, parrots, dolphins, turtles, and phantoms. I mean, just think about it. Instead of falling off of a random cliff, now we can drown while looking for loot and shipwrecks, or even be killed by an insanely annoying nocturnal bird 
thing. Also, Minecraft was still dying. I wonder why. Two more updates happened, and suddenly all of the blocks look completely different. Also, villages match their biomes, and we can lose our hardcore world by being stung to death by bees, which honestly is the best way so far. Also, Minecraft is popular again thanks to some random pig, two British dudes, and a green guy, and a bunch of other people. 1.16 decided to show its face, and now the nether is actually almost sort of interesting. Netherite is the thing now, so now we can die in our hardcore worlds while fighting spiders with even better armor and tools. A few years later on 1.17 and 1.18 have both happened. Now we can go 64 blocks deeper while mining and drown in flooded caves. We can also fall to our deaths from insanely high mountain peaks. One more update happens and now we can relax and enjoy the peace and serenity of mangrove swamps. We can also go to ancient cities and get absolutely steamrolled by a ridiculously overpowered mob. Fast forward one more update and now we can get crushed to death while looking for pottery shards and ruins. Also cherry trees. And now now, in the present, we can get absolutely annihilated by mobs and trial chambers. It's been a fulfilling journey. And that's where we're at today, y'all. Let me know if I forgot anything, because spending like 15 hours on a video and then forgetting crucial information is in fact something I do on a regular basis. Anyways, if y'all want to know more about the updates, there's a really good video explaining every Minecraft update in 10 minutes. And it was made by my favorite YouTuber of all time, myself. Shout out to him, by the way. He's, he's pretty awesome, I gotta say. And if you enjoyed today's video you could you know consider subscribing to my youtube channel no no like it's 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 entirely up to you absolutely no pressure whatsoever 